started. So it's actually behind us on that side. That is our goal for today. And then if you look to the left of it, that's just the crossroads for another one that I need to do at some point. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. there's a little bit of water on the inside of this but I do have some cards finally that I'm gonna toss in here and we're gonna sign this right now and then we're probably gonna take a little bit of a break take some photos and then head back now live a life every day let it die not okay all I want and I pray all I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days. Yeah, all I need are some better days. Cause all I want, and I pray, I believe in the better yeah. days. I'm kinda stuck with 
between a rock and a hard place Do I work hard or live at my pace? You're only young once, yeah that's all great But I also want a future where I'm okay Living life is doing lots of cocaine Wait no, it's living with no shame Wait no, it's sleeping in on Sundays I guess it's different for each of us and that's okay Well I just wanna be happy How to get there, hmm, glad that you asked me I think it's different for everyone Some of us need work, others need fun Some of us need purpose to overcome But try to do what you love when it's said and done Cause there's so many differences in each of us Trust your gut, it can show you what you want Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want, and I pray All I need, are some better days Yeah, all I need, are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray I believe, in the better days Living life, every day Late at night, not okay, all I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days, yeah, all I need are some better days. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unknown brain. Marvin Devine. Uh, I'm saying bye to all the lies and all the times you cried Saying that I wasn't right, that I was right by your side You manipulator, playing games, your friends commentators And I don't know what you say about our private conversations But it's got them hating, thanks to all the rumors you be claiming It's cool, I'm done with you, so they can throw you a celebration You gon' hate it when you see me with somebody living better I'm trying to tell you that me just doing me gon' have you jealous, uh hike summary for gunnery mountain so i did this back in early june this was a great time for this hike i think that this is a great shoulder season one if you are contemplating doing this either in the fall or the springtime this is a really great hike because it is located in the south so you're going to be traveling almost toward like longview type area and you're going to be entering highway 40 kananaskis from that end so i feel like a lot of the hikes here are definitely less snow covered than if you're going around like the peter lougheed provincial park slash highwood pass area when i'm currently filming this video there is tons and tons of snow at that part of kananaskis the snowpack slash snow melt is really late this year unfortunately so a lot of hikes currently in that area are undoable so yes we travel to the southern part of Kananaskis for Gunnery Mountain this has been on my hike list for quite a bit I think this has been on my hike list since about last spring or something like that I have it in my I was gonna say playlist but it's not called a playlist it's gonna be <laughs> it's a list on all trails that has like all my hikes that I want to do in there and this was part of the ones with summit register so I have some business cards that I'm actually going to bring with me on most of my hikes and put in different summit registers around Alberta I've done so many hikes hikes with summit registers this year and I didn't have any business cards during that time but this time I did and I wanted to pick something that had a summit register but it was somewhat like a moderate hike I didn't want something too hard that day but I wanted something still a little bit challenging we did do the clockwise route and we clocked in at 9.1 kilometers with an elevation gain of 677 meters so you can actually also do Holy Cross Mountain from Gunnery if you're interested in that one as well but we just did Gunnery that day this trail was not very well marked it wasn't really well defined therefore in some sections it is hard to follow 
Some people might disagree with me and be like, no, it's super easy to follow the whole way. But there's a lot of comments on all trails as well of people getting lost and not really liking the view that they saw and everything like that. I'm like, that's probably because we went the wrong way because the views on the route that I took were pretty awesome. <laughs> so we did, like I said, the clockwise route and we started with the steep section first. So we did the super, super steep climb up the first few hills and stuff like that. And like I said, the trail, honestly, it's well-defined in some spots, but in some spots, it's not at all. You're walking on grass and it's very, very hard to tell where the trail really is. But yes, it's kind of take you straight up. So it takes you straight up the first bit. It's a nice little grind, gain elevation really quick. And before you know it, you're gonna look down at the view and you're gonna be like, wow, I climbed that much in such a short time. Yes, it's one of those hikes. It's steep, but the views come quick. Eventually you're going to hit a rocky section. This is kind of, I guess, considered a scramble, but it's a super, super easy scramble. Anybody can do it. Honestly, it's not like scary. It's not sketchy. It's not like a hands-on scramble. It is a very slightly steep uphill rocky section. The rocks are definitely not shale or like the really sketchy rocks that climb up on. It's a, like the bigger rock. So it's pretty easy to go up that route. And this is where the views are amazing. So definitely take your photos here because the views here are actually better than the summit to be honest. So from here, we did see a lot of bighorn sheep and they were all just chilling and kind of doing their sheep things, running down the side of mountains, like, like it's no issue. Yes, we saw this amazing sheep family and they were so cute. We definitely saw for photos of them and like gave them their space and all of that good stuff. And then we continued on and the summit where it was actually surprised me. I knew that we were on the ridge going to the summit, but I didn't realize the summit was right there. It's kind of covered on one side with trees. I'm not gonna say it's not the prettiest summit I've ever seen because it's not. Like, let's be honest here. You get good views, you get good views. <laughs> you don't get super spectacular, amazing 360 views. One side of you there's a lot of trees and on the other side of you there's kind of just like a rock slab and then you can see views of holy cross mountain as well as the valley below so the summit was okay it's good for a day when it's super windy outside and you kind of want to be shielded a little bit by trees because there is definitely trees up there to shield you from the wind and stuff like that so we stopped there ate lunch signed the summit register and we headed back the opposite way so we wanted to do the loop and experience the whole hike I think that this is the best option. I think going up the hard way is better than going down the hard way. If you guys just wanna go up and then down the same way, you can do that as well. But we went for the scenic route and we went down the gradual way, which was really pleasant. I will say the trail is a little bit off on all trails. Like it does take you to pretty much like a dead end slash like grassy meadow with no views, nothing. So don't completely follow the all trails map. I would say when you're down the mountain quite a bit, when you've made it to the grassy section, continue down the grassy section and don't follow the all trails map because it takes you to nothing. So from here, you're gonna be going down. Like I said, it's a very, very slight downhill the whole entire way. It's nothing too crazy. It's not hard on your knees. It's a pretty easy way down. It is longer though, but you're gonna notice like a nice series of mini waterfalls on that side. It's just a very nice, scenic, beautiful little valley that it's gonna take you down. And eventually you're gonna end up on the road and then you're gonna have to walk to your car because it is, like I said, it is a loop and it doesn't take you, you know, to your car. You have to kind of walk along the road for a little bit, which was fine. I will give you one bit of advice with this trail is to watch out for ticks, especially right now. There's definitely comments on all trails to watch out for ticks. And we did find a tick on one of my friends that did this hike with us. So yeah, definitely, definitely watch out for ticks. We definitely stopped in my car and did like a full head to toe inspection, all three of us, and discovered that there was only one tick, thankfully but definitely, definitely watch out for ticks on Gunnery Mountain if you are planning to do this one. Definitely a moderate doable hike. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. Oh, and one more thing, please, please, please go to Longview and pick up some jerky if you're doing this hike because it's super close by. You will not regret it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'll let you deeper than I deeper.